Update. Would I be the a-hole for leaving the relationship without fighting for it? After a girlfriend suggested open relationship? Original post. I, 27 male, had been together with my girlfriend, 27 female, for three years. Stable relationship and no red flag from my point of view. Last Saturday, she asked for an open relationship. Her reasoning was we did not get to enjoy ourselves in the past and it could help us strengthen the intimacy and love. I rejected it and she seemed unhappy after that. I'm not going to lie, an open relationship suggestion out of nowhere is a huge red flag for me. It means probably there is someone else she has in mind already. I've been cheated on in the past and made it very clear that I want a monogamous relationship before being exclusive. Her suggestion made me mental for a few days. I want to break up with her. I do love her, but she opened Pandora's box and I'm not sure if I can trust her in that relationship. It will not be healthy for both sides. Would I be the a-hole if I leave the relationship without trying to salvage it? I tried saving my old relationship when there were trust issues and it did not work. I just did not want to harm my psychology struggling. At the same time, I doubt myself because I love her and it's a three-year relationship. Now for the top comments before reading the update. More info needed. Has she been complaining about lack of intimacy? No, I ask if it's related to that, but she said no. It's not about quality either. We both live with our families and still have three to four times intimacy a week after meeting up. She has already found someone or has already slept with that person and is just looking to alleviate her guilt. Three years of monogamy and she's talking about strengthening love and intimacy? What in the ever-loving hell? How do you strengthen love and intimacy by going out and sucking another dude's junk? She just wants to sleep around with a safety net. That's all there is to it. Dude, you need to update us on this. And I hope this update is that you broke up with her because anything else besides that is you opening yourself up to misery and pain you do not need nor want. You would not be the a-hole. Open relationship suggestions like that out of the blue are usually, as you said, because they've found someone they want to sleep with. Or because they've already cheated and they're trying to find a way to make it okay. She's talking straight BS about strengthening intimacy and love. Open relationships are a huge strain on both of those things. Regardless, time to move on. Don't fight for it. Just move on to someone you can trust. Thank you for your input. My thinking is similar to yours. If you look through the subreddits and AITA, there are hundreds of stories that start and end the same. Someone mentions opening the relationship and everything ends in a messy crap show. Just get out now. Salvage what exactly? You wanted monogamy, expressed your wishes, and she countered with an open relationship. Dude, there's nothing to salvage. You would not be the a-hole for walking away. Exactly. That's just a deal breaker in compatibility. Unfortunately, those occur, and there's not much to do about it. No one is the bad guy here, but these two needs simply do not work together. Better finish it amicably, before turning each other miserable by dragging it out. I'll never understand how sleeping with other people strengthens love. Like, hey, you know what would be amazing for our love life? Not spending it together. Lol. It doesn't. She just wants to sleep with a coworker or something and not feel guilty. She may have already, and is asking for a free pass because she's afraid it's going to blow up. This is exactly what happened with my cousin and his wife. She asked for an open relationship. He was actually open to it. Then she admits that she's already sleeping with someone. So he divorced her. Now for the update. I made a post two days ago about my relationship situation on his subreddit. I want to thank everyone. I took my time reading most of these comments and there were some really useful advice. I talked to her yesterday and broke up with her. I told her I thought about her proposal and wanted to ask her a question. I basically asked why she proposed going open relationship out of nowhere. She said she heard of it from her friends and would like to try to strengthen our relationship. I asked her if she had someone in mind already. She said no. I thanked her for answers but stated I want a strictly monogamous relationship. Also, I told her how my trust for the relationship was shaken after her proposal and I want to break up with her. Wished her the best and prepared to leave the table. She got angry. A bit too angry at me. She called me insecure and called me every name possible in the book. I left the table quickly after hearing these and went back home. She started calling me, texting me in an angry tone and I just had to block her. We both live with our family, so breakup was quickly done. No need to take my belongings from the shared home or anything. There was no problem until here. Today, a friend told me she saw her with a male co-worker the same night and asked me if I knew it. I told her we broke up yesterday. So yes, she definitely had someone in mind. It does not hurt as much as I thought it would. 
Maybe it's because I was ready for such a thing. Maybe my mentality changed after the last time I got cheated on. My mindset is all about moving on and not worrying about things I cannot control anymore. Whether she had been cheating during the relationship or not, I do not care to know. All I can do is to move on and live my best life. I have a trip to South Korea this month and I want to enjoy it. Thanks for all the advice, Reddit. Take care. Not sure why she's mad, but who cares? All the best. That's an easy one. She only brought up open relationship because she thought he was scared to lose her and would cave in. He didn't, which ticked her off. You can't bruise her ego, lol. Worse, he dumped her nearly instantly. No letting things go so she could cheat behind his back. She never thought she would be the one getting dumped. She didn't just have someone in her mind. This was an I don't want to feel bad for cheating on you question. Well done for not tolerating her BS. She wanted it to be his fault. She's just an innocent party in all this, LMAO. It's so funny how a good number of women call men insecure for basic things. Anything they don't like is called insecure or controlling, lol. If you want to act single, be single. End of story. Or you are an incel. For real, all of these words have lost any and all meaning at this point. But the first thing that happens after breaking up is they call you every name in the book and such. Then it's like, yup, made a right call. Hearing about the seeing her with another guy is just icing on a cake. Yeah, them getting mad about you sticking to your guns is such a validating thing because it shows they don't respect you or your opinions. Just that you aren't going along with what they want. Of course she had someone in mind. She just wanted her cake and have the bakery to come home too. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Hope he can do better. They always have someone in mind. Former friend of mine basically went to his fiancée and told her, Hey, I have a really huge crush on our friend. Can we open our relationship? Lasted all of two weeks. Shocking. Bold of him to at least be honest. Can't respect 99% of it, but the honesty is refreshing. LMAO, right. The dude basically went to his partner and said, I want to cheat on you. Can you give me permission so I feel okay about it? And she agreed. Rose-colored glasses and red flags, I suppose. Next story. Am I the a-hole for leaving my wife for cheating on me with a family friend? I am a good dad, 26, and a good husband. I've worked my butt off for my family. I started a company to give my kids a better life than I grew up with. And I'm the most caring husband I can be. I work a lot since my company is only 3 years old. My wife, 24, stays home with the kids 2 and 4. She has been a stay-at-home mom from the start because I wanted that kind of life for her and our kids. My wife has been wanting a break. So she has to sleep in a hotel and go up to Salt Lake with her friend she hasn't seen in years the next day. I trust my wife, so I say, sure, that's okay. That was last week. When she got back, she was just being so rude to me for no reason. Because the kids made a little mess and didn't clean it up right away. By the way, the day before her hotel visit, I worked a 30-hour shift overnight on a job, got 6 hours of sleep, then stayed up another 26 hours to work, then moved furniture around the house to get the windows done, falling asleep for 2 hours then getting up to get the kids out of the house while she headed up to the hotel. She was rude to me the rest of the night. I later found out she was talking bad about me to my sister as well that night. Anyways, the next few days were kind of the same with her just being rude. That about two days ago, she comes home after being gone for hours. Is rude to me at the start, then flips it to being super touchy and nice and she tells me a story. She says she saw a friend at a gas station, then ended up meeting them at Target and talked to them for an hour in their vehicle. She said she was telling me this because my sister texted her that she saw her at Target and wanted to tell me what was up. It turns out... She had been really meeting with a guy who was a family friend of mine I've known since I was a kid. She told me she's been only talking to him for a month and she insists she didn't sleep with him. I asked about the hotel and she said he never came and he was on a business trip. This a-hole works for a tinting company. I looked through her phone and she was using Instagram vanish mode to talk to him so I can't see anything what was said. I'm freaking devastated. I looked for her friend's messages and she had not talked to that friend in 43 weeks. I asked her about that. And she said the chick is in an abusive relationship and she had to use Instagram vanish mode. Pretty convenient. So I worked my butt off to get her a hotel room just so he can bang another man. She swears up and down they only kissed once. But how could I ever trust her? How does that even make sense? She pressed me so hard to go to the hotel and to get home the night she went to Target. I've been so good to her, but she threw it all away. Her family has been trying to get me to forgive her when she has lied to them about the facts too. They keep saying they only kissed and stuff. Are you kidding me? I feel broken. I was the best I could be. 
I wish I could stay, but I simply can't. I feel like I could die inside right now. I haven't slept other than passing out drunk. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop wanting to die, but I can't do anything like that since I have kids. So am I the a-hole for divorcing my wife for cheating on me with a family friend? Edit. I have already talked to my lawyer, but I needed to talk to my wife about how we are going to switch off with the kids. She still thinks there's a chance for me to stay. She's begging me not to leave. And I keep trying to tell her nothing will change what happened and this is the end. Edit 2. She insisted she was a stay-at-home mom. She always flaunted it to her friends and she never wanted to get a job when we were going through some tough financial times. Now for the top comments. She didn't get a hotel room to just kiss. You know it. She knows it. Not the a-hole. Even if all they did was kiss, that's cheating. That's crazy. I was gonna say this. Kissing is cheating. Sneaking around with another man is cheating. And yeah, you don't get a hotel to kiss once. Exactly. And even if you kissed once then panicked knowing you messed up, you would have left immediately and went home. You wouldn't have spent the night with him. You damn sure wouldn't come home the next day and disrespect your husband. Those are the actions of a deeply guilty person. Not the a-hole. She doesn't even regret it. She only regrets getting caught. You would have never known if not for your sister. This wasn't an oopsie. It was a planned and executed affair. Don't stay. What would that teach to your kids? She never would have told him if it wasn't for the fact his sister saw her at the Target with a guy. 100% she probably was crap talking him to the sister to try and start the story that it was a bad marriage or something. You have proof of infidelity. A garbage wife who you don't have time for and a company that may take off. Why would you not get divorced? It's just too bad most states don't care about that. OP will have to sell his company and give half to his wife, then pay for two households. All because his wife wanted to screw around. This sucks. And if he does anything she doesn't like, OP's wife will say something like how he molested the kids or physically abused them, and he loses everything. Last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my friend what did you expect after her partner left her for a fitness trainer? I, 27 female, have a friend. Let's call her Emily, 29 female, who has always been confident about her relationship choices. Emily had been dating Jake, 35 male, a fitness enthusiast and personal trainer for the past three years. She often boasted about how Jake's dedication to health and fitness rubbed off on her and how they were the perfect fit for each other. When Emily and Jake got together, there were murmurs among our friend group about Jake's commitment issues and his penchant for dating younger women. But Emily brushed off these concerns, convinced that her love for him was enough to keep him by her side. Jake had a history of dating women much younger than him, and Emily knew about it. However, she believed Jake when he assured her that he had outgrown that phase of his life and was ready to settle down with someone more mature. Despite the warnings and doubts from her friends, Emily remained steadfast in her belief that Jake was different with her. She proudly posted pictures of their gym sessions together and their healthy meals, convinced that they were building a strong foundation for their future. However, things took a turn when Emily discovered that Jake had been seeing a 22-year-old fitness trainer behind her back. It turned out that Jake had grown tired of Emily's occasional indulgences and wanted someone who shared his intense dedication to fitness. Heartbroken and betrayed, Emily came to me for support, devastated by Jake's betrayal and feeling blindsided by his actions. Frustrated by her insistence on ignoring the warning signs and her belief that she was the exception to Jake's dating pattern, I couldn't help but blurt out, what did you expect? I reminded her of all the doubts she had pushed aside, all the times she had boasted about being Jake's ideal partner, despite the glaring signs suggesting otherwise. I didn't mean to be harsh, but after years of listening to her disregard any criticism of their relationship, I couldn't muster up sympathy. Emily was shocked by my words, accusing me of being unsupportive and implying that I was blaming her for Jake's actions. She stormed off in anger, leaving me wondering if I had crossed the line. So Reddit, am I the a-hole for being brutally honest with my friend when her relationship crumbled, or should I have been more sympathetic despite my frustrations? You're not wrong, but you're definitely the a-hole. She came to you for support. Nobody's saying you had to lie to her, but the fact that you felt the need to scold her just to feel superior is pretty crappy. You told the truth, sure. That doesn't change the fact you're a crappy friend. Literally, your friend comes to you in need of a shoulder to cry on, that she probably didn't expect, seeing as how she was likely being manipulated by the guy probably, saying whatever he could to assuage any doubt and continuously gaslight her if it wasn't slick enough to shoot any sliver of doubt down the second it became airborne given she was so sure about their foundation. 
and you feel she needs a I told you so. Like, I've been with quite a few manipulators slash straight-up narcissists, covert and overt. Some got found out quick. Some were so slick, convincing, thorough, calculating, and or sweet. It was disturbing looking back. Absolutely soulless. My friends try to tell me about two of them, and those were the ones that had me most convinced. And some people are disturbingly good at hiding just how quick they'll switch from declaring their undying love to you, to being fully prepared to use you as a bulletproof vest the very split second they're caught in a crossfire. I can't imagine blaming anyone for believing what someone they love tells them, no matter how much that person seemed suspect. You're supposed to have faith in those you love, because you'd typically believe the concern is equal. How do you blame somebody for choosing to believe their person? You're the a-hole. Damn, why have enemies when you have friends that'll punch you when you're already down? Yeah, but sometimes you need an extra kick in the teeth to realize you've been kicking yourself in the face.